This is going to be tutorial uh, number two of our blood vessels and vasculature tutorial. The one before this was veins. This one's going to be arteries. We're going to start in the same place right above the heart that we did with veins, except we're going to continue with our arterial system. We're going to start right here at our major conducting artery. This is going to be our ascending aorta. It's going to continue to become our aortic arch. Once we drop behind the heart, it is our descending or thoracic aorta. Once it breaches the diaphragm, it becomes the abdominal aorta, and we'll look at that in a little bit. Let's continue off this aortic arch. We have three major shunts. The first is the brachiocephalic. It's going to bifurcate to go in the common carotid, which is also going to bifurcate and form and split into the external and internal carotids. This branch right here will continue as the right subclavian as we go under the clavicle. Under the arm will become the right axillary artery. As we move over the humerus, <clears throat> it will become the brachial artery. It's going to branch to become the ulnar artery and the radial artery. Now, this position is the hand in the pronated position, so the bones are crossed, so it makes it a little difficult to see these arteries. If we move to the other side in the supine position, you can see nicely that we're moving over the ulna for the ulnar artery, and we're moving over the radius for the radial artery. As we continue into the palm, you have two arches. One is a deep palmar arch, the other is a superficial palmar arch. We're gonna look right here, right below the diaphragm at our abdominal aorta. We're gonna look at all the branches off of this major artery. Our first is going to be our celiac trunk. This truncation has three divisions, one going to the liver hepatic, one going to the spleen for splenic, and one going to the stomach for gastric. As we continue down, we're going to have our superior mesenteric artery. Well, if there's a superior, there's gonna be an inferior, and lo and behold, further down on this abdominal aorta, we have our inferior mesenteric. Well, there's a few more arteries in between we have to talk about. You have your right and left renal arteries. Right here, you have your ovarian or testicular arteries, depending if this is a male or female. We can call these our gonadals. Once we get to this next bifurcation off the abdominal aorta, we have our common iliacs. They're going to bifurcate again to become our internal and external iliacs. We're going to branch again to our femoral artery and deep femoral artery. We're gonna look on the left side now. As we continue down, we go to the posterior aspect of the knee. This is our popliteal artery. We're gonna branch again. We're gonna go in front of the tibia and behind the tibia. This is gonna be our anterior tibial artery and our posterior tibial artery. As we continue over the foot, the dorsal aspect, this becomes our dorsal artery. So that pretty much concludes arteries and veins. I hope you enjoyed watching. Good luck studying, guys.